This video will demonstrate how to install the Leviton 55054 surface mount power receptacle. Please be certain to follow all instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you are unsure about any part of the instructions, or if you are not comfortable or familiar with working with electrical wiring, contact an electrician. When installing and terminating this Leviton device, have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and a handheld voltage tester. Installation takes approximately 15 minutes. The process shown follows general guidelines. Local codes take precedence. Be sure to turn the power off at the circuit breaker and use a voltage tester to ensure that the power is completely off. If you need to remove any existing device, do so now and then cap off the exposed wires and separate them. Before proceeding, be sure to document or label wires for future reference. Now we need to identify the two hot wires. To do this, turn the circuit breaker back on. Carefully use the voltage tester to test each wire. The hot wires will be indicated by the tester. Once identified, turn off the circuit breaker to shut power and test to ensure the power is off. In this example, there is one black wire and one red wire which are the hot wires, a white wire, that is the neutral, and bare copper, which is the ground. Note, keep in mind, the color of the wires can vary. The hot wires may be a black and a red wire, or two black wires. The ground wire could be green or bare copper. If you're unsure, contact an electrician. To begin, first slide off the plastic cover. Before wiring, it is important that you identify the terminals on the back of the device to ensure that you are wiring it correctly. The terminals located on the back of this receptacle are referred to as lug terminals. These type of terminals are typically presented on devices that permit a larger size wire gauge conductor. The brass terminals labeled X and Y are for the hot wires. The silver terminal labeled white is for the neutral wire and the green terminal labeled green is for the ground wire. Next, remove knockout in bottom plate for wall mounting or in back plate for floor mounting. Mount fixed half of strain relief to metal plate next to the removed knockout using short machine screws. Mount the outlet on the floor or wall using the wood screws provided. Next, feed conductors through knockout hole. Fit loose half of strain relief clamp around conductors and secure to fixed half of clamp using long machine screws provided. In this instance, we are using 10 gauge wire. The product accepts 10, 8, 6, and 4 gauge wire. Strip wire leads to 11 sixteenths of an inch. A strip gauge is located on the base to ensure the proper length. Insert wires into terminal channels. Then, rotate the terminal clamp screw assembly 180 degrees over each conductor so that the wire is secured under the bottom of each retaining screw. Insert the ground wire under the green screw, the white neutral wire under the silver screw, and the remaining hot wires under the brass terminals. Tighten terminal screws to 25 inch pounds. Caution, be sure to place wires in the terminal channels under the screw assemblies. This is the only proper method of terminating the wires. Finally, slide plastic cover over wire device and secure with retaining screw. The device is now terminated. Restore power at the circuit breaker. Now, test the installation by plugging an appliance into the receptacle. Your Leviton power receptacle is now ready for use.